to my channel and of course today I have another recipe for you. This is my easy cast iron sourdough strawberry cobbler. You can modify this and change it up if you're not into sourdough. Just eliminate the sourdough and everything else is just as good. So the first thing I'm doing in my cast iron skillet and if you don't have a cast iron skillet it's okay. Just find a baking dish. You're going to grease it. You can grease this with olive oil or butter. Then the next thing is you're going to make the filling, which is fresh strawberries. You can pick these or you can buy them in the supermarket. Go ahead and add your coconut sugar or any type of sugar, your lemon juice and your baking powder and flour to the mixture. Give all of this a good stir so it's all nice and combined and the juices are nice and juicy so you can place it in your baking dish or cast iron skillet. Okay, link below is going to be in the description box, the recipe, so you can go over to my blog and print it out and save it for later and make this recipe either today or later on. So after you place the strawberry mixer in your baking dish, AKA cast iron skillet, you're gonna make the biscuit. So the biscuit is going to be dropped in little mounds through the cobbler and you're going to need flour and baking powder, of course your sourdough, and if you're not doing it with sourdough, just eliminate that. You're going to need a sweetener such as your coconut sugar and you're going to need butter. And you're gonna cut this all into the flour mixture. I'm using a fork because I don't have anything like a pastry um, blender to blend it in or uh, chop it in because you wanna make chunks of it. And then you're going to go ahead and add your whole milk into this mixture. Now, if you don't use whole milk or if you're lactose intolerant or allergic to milk, you can use any milk supplement. Um, once it's all combined, you're going to drop it in a heaping amount on top of the cobbler. This recipe can be modified to make any cobbler of any type of fruit that you choose, you know, per season. So if strawberries are not in season where you're at, you can do it with peaches or you can do it with pumpkin. So in a preheated oven, you're gonna go ahead and add your cobbler and you're going to cook it for about 30 minutes. I have it covered right now because I like to cover it for the first like 15 minutes and then pull off the cover and let it cook for the remaining amount. Now I do wanna mention with cast iron skillet, you wanna make sure this is preheated because it'll cook it evenly and the heat will be thoroughly throughout the whole cast iron skillet. So here we are scooping it out. It's hot and steamy. You can serve this with vanilla ice cream or whipped cream at any of your social events. It's a super easy and wonderful dessert for any party that you're having this summer or barbecue. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to stick around and see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys real soon.